You ever heard a song that you think is really shit? A song that makes you wonder how did that become a hit? Sometimes you need to hear a discussion about that in regular podcast format. Well, there's a lot of bad songs that we're gonna attack. A thousand and one steamer piles of crap. I'm telling you the truth, you know that we don't lie. Here's a thousand and one songs that make you wanna die. Oh, and now. Here's your hosts, Zav, Bebo, Dan, and Gypsy. <laughs> this is a thousand and one songs that make you want to die, and we're going to revise the 48th annual Grammy Awards from 2006. Uh, I don't know if this is good <laughs> or bad. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's a couple of good ones in there. Yeah. But, you know, um, you know. Let's get stuck into it, though. The Record of the Year nominees. Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. We Belong Together by Mariah Carey. Feel Good Inc. by Gorillaz. Holler Back Girl by Gwen Stefani. And Gold Digger by Kanye West. The winner was Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. Mm. Just to see how much tremolo you can possibly put into a song and still have a hit. It turns out that it's a lot. Wait, no, it's that's pretty good. I walk a lonely road, the only road that I've ever known. I thought you were actually doing a um. Never occurred to me that you could do that with your throat. There you go. Yeah, I know. I thought you were doing your boat rider um, impersonation. I wasn't doing boat it with my rider. throat. I was doing it boat. with my gain control on my fucking interface. No, that was some. That was the Welcome theme. to a thousand and one songs <laughs> that make you want to die. Wow. <laughs> no, that last bit was in my throat. That last bit was uh, in, actually. Okay, so who do you have winning the record of the year in 2006, Bavo? She give me money. Woo! Can you stop singing? Mate, can you yeah. just tell us? You're singing. You went into a song. Can you just... <laughs> what's your I'm answer? Not, I'm actually sure. What you... Now, I'm not saying that she's a gold digger, but she's not messy. <laughs> Bye. With can... no Jesus-like figure. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, good. Good. Right, call. A, that is a fantastic song. And also, one of my favorite movies is the Ray Charles... Fuck, that is Wild a good peak. movie. And mm, it's, um, movie. it's, uh, what's Ray. his name? Singing. Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Jamie Foxx singing the, the yeah. hook in this, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and this came out before Ray. Right. They must yeah, have yeah. Inspired. So it, it, well, I think no, he it didn't. He, he was born in the bloody. The, <laughs> he was, he'd already, <laughs> the movie had been shot, but this you know ended up came out before, before Ray. Ray Charles. <laughs> You're joking. Out of life. <laughs> You're joking. Um, Zav. Imagine what he would have done if he didn't been able to see it. I eh? think he did. Well, not see it, but, you know, he had the uh, Braille version of the script. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke. This movie feels oh. fantastic. <laughs> Ray, what do you think about the, the movie? Oh, it feels great. It feels great. <laughs> There's a few Your bumps in the feels... road, but... Um... Your man feels good. Oh, oh <laughs> shit, Bevo. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, bruh. Uh, who do you have? Who do you have winning record of the years? Have uh, I actually have "Feel Good Inc." by Gorillaz. Mm. I think that is a great song. It is really a great, great song. song. Yeah, and it's, it's always great. good. Like it's it's. Uh, we talk about these songs that translate to any time period. That could have come out at any time. It's yeah. always a hit. Well, maybe always not the twenties because there's like a couple of electronic instruments used. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> you know, it'll still be good. Forever. Yeah. Yeah, they still, they would have done it. It'll still feel good. Mm. Yeah, incorporated, yeah. incorporated. Uh, yeah. Dan Southern. Okay, look, I know we're making fun of Green Day before, <sighs> but let me say, you know, if you're gonna mm-hmm. if you're gonna take an Oasis song and <laughs> use it, um, you may as well make a lot of money out of it. Anyway, that's not my choice, of course. Um, oh, look, I dead. I love dead. Hollaback Girl. Love love that song. I have to give it to Gold Digger. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, Gold mm-hmm. Digger, Gold it's Digger. Friggin' incredible. It get is. down, Dan. Get down. Get it's down. what I would say if it wasn't Mariah <laughs> Carey. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I've also chosen Gold Digger. Oh, but, no way. Well but, done. but, it was as close as you can possibly come to a tie with Feel Good Ink. Mm, it mm-hmm. is a good song. It's Feel Good Ink is, as soon as you hear that intro and bass line, oh, you just, you're having a good time. Can anyone do Bloody good time. Boom. Can anyone do the rap? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wait. Wrong song. I'm sorry. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I, just, it, I think it goes, that, this um... shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> this shit <laughs> is bananas. <laughs> and she starts B- a song. A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> song starts. <laughs> Uh huh. This my <laughs> shit. Like whoa. You go, oh, right. she's so white. No, no. <laughs> this her shit. That yeah. we will. It's just you interesting that Mariah Carey like got a song into the Grammys, like got the the Home and Away theme song into the Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> you know we belong together. together. You and I forever and ever. I'm Mariah Carey. <laughs> I fucked James Packer. <laughs> How good would it be if Mariah Carey just put that into every line of her, like every song? She I'm may Mariah Carey. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas. I'm Mariah <laughs> Because I'm Mariah Carey. Oh, she right. sings at such a high register sometimes. She could be saying Mariah Carey for all I know. Mm. Heartbreak, you got the best of me. I am Mariah Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I thought she was in the room. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, Mate. yeah, that was... Oh, can you get away, Mariah? Bloody, I'm trying to do a podcast. Fuck off, Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed, She's Mariah. always here. She's always hanging out with the boys. <laughs> I know you heard yourself being spoken about, but... Uh, <laughs> talking about uh, you, not to you. Okay, the album of the year, the nominees were... How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb by U2. The Emancipation of Mimi by Mariah Carey. Chaos and Creation in the Backyard by Paul McCartney. Fuck me. Love, Angel, Music, Baby, Gwen Stefani, and Late Registration by Kanye West. I'm always suspect when there are, like, a bunch of shit in there that don't have a song good enough to make the Record of the Year nominations, but the album <laughs> the is so good, there, yeah, yeah. and it's in the album of the year. And you mm, two yeah. do not have a song in here, and Paul McCartney sure as shit does not have a song <laughs> in the Record of the Year. I went through and listened to a few of these, and other than the Vertigo off Dismantle, uh, an Atomic Bomb, never fucking heard of anything else on it. Yeah. Um, Chaos and Creation in My Backyard, was. this is literally the first time I've ever heard of that, <laughs> all this really, Paul McCartney really average character. I've ne- I, I, I look honestly. If someone had been like gun to my head, um, name <laughs> the Paul McCartney album of two thousand five, I'd just be like, just unleash, just pull unleash. the trigger. I can't tell you. <laughs> You're like, just, I don't. <laughs> well, I'm a dead man. <laughs> yeah, You're just like, do a couple around. Just do a couple. I don't want to. Um, I don't care. I don't want to waste your time. You, you've obviously. <laughs> got a lot on so <laughs> the quick, uh, the you know, yeah. let's just the quicker uh, you kill me the faster the cleanup so let's just fucking uh, get this if going. you open that cupboard up there's a can of wd-40 you can spray a bit on that trigger and make it even a little bit quicker <laughs> <laughs> put down the uh, gun paul there's no need for this <laughs> okay so yeah. uh the winner was you too how to dismantle an atomic bomb, and I remember that being controversial, yeah, mm. at the time. Uh, who do you have winning album of the year in two thousand and six, Bevo? Wait, can I just interrupt? I just want to oh. quickly let the oh, other, you can, the other oh. dudes know that the just remind you of the danger that there is <laughs> in know, choosing fraught. in choosing anyone but Kanye West. You know what? You know what happens to Chibsy when you choose anyone but Kanye West. So. <laughs> Well, it's just you know, there's a right answer and a wrong answer here. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Well, it seems to invoke... I'm just going to grab my notepad and just quickly scratch something out and just really write it. <laughs> You're like, you two gone, kind of list. Right so have you never taken a note for this podcast ever? You two just... I don't believe that. <laughs> you two's just... Yeah, the only thing you... Mate, you don't take notes. The only thing you take is the piss. Hey, you know what? You're not wrong, mate. Good on you. Uh, Bevo. <laughs> You're not going to like my answer. Fuck 
I'll try to warn you, better. Fucking Paul McCartney, dude. Come on, mate. <laughs> it's got it's got like sentimental value for me. This album, so uh, Paul McCartney. Get ah. absolutely <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I try. I no, I'm try. sticking by it. Jenny Wren's a really good uh, track. Is it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's the follow up to Blackbird, mate. Come it on. Is. Everyone knows oh. this. Okay. It's like when they made Shrek 2 and you're like, oh, you shouldn't have fucking opened that yeah. can of worms, mate. You shouldn't yeah. have done that. <laughs> Shrek 3 the is Shrek the follow-up to Jenny Wren by Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> Get Shrek'd. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a... Fucking so hell. fucking disappointing. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. Zav. Uh, just real quick, just want to say, just get it off the bat. Uh, not once on the fucking... How to dismantle an atomic bomb? Does anyone in fucking U two explain how to dismantle an <laughs> atomic fucking bomb? Just a break in the middle of the album. Not I, once. I, I Not imagine once. It, it'd be a cool album package where you open it up and it starts ticking. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with you a have forty five minutes <laughs> yeah. to decide B to find out. It's just like I don't know, like you know, they're, they're like, okay, we're gonna you're gonna call it how to dismantle an atomic bomb. You're like, all right, cool, and then they're like, oh, let's just quickly talk about like. What happens when you get vertigo, though? Wait, like, so, <laughs> I don't know. No, anything I don't about, have time for that. I don't, I don't know wanna... about this album, but are they trying to make like a political statement here? As in, like, music has the power to stop the nuclear proliferation of nations on the planet. Dude, you've just you've you're not wrong. Or you ain't is right. it legitimately? Like, there's some sort of code in there that if you were in a situation, you had to dismantle an atomic bomb. Well, if it's anything like that bloody album they put on iTunes that went onto every single iPhone, fuck then they can fuck off. <coughs> I feel like um, that that's why Zav got this album, because he, a... he stumbled across an atomic bomb. He's like, this is going to go off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, need to know, I need to know how to, how to dismantle this. And you, and you, just, you just Googled <laughs> how to dismantle an atomic bomb, and this came it's up like... and went, thank you, you two. Yeah, and you're like, I've got exactly uh, 38 minutes to do this. So, and, you, <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I guess I better play the album, see what happens, and then you know maybe they'll tell me the, open, the first ball. track. It's just like, hello, hello. <laughs> and you're like, yep, hurry hello. Up, hurry up, Are you going to tell up. me what to do? Or <laughs> hello, thanks for greeting me. There, let's get to how to dismantle <laughs> quick, the atomic quick, bomb. Quick, quick, quick. Before we tell like, you how to do it, I'm going to tell you where I am. I'm at a place called Company time right now. He gets to the um, last song and, and I was like, oh, I'm fucked. Yeah. Imagine that. You I'm come like, across I've it and you're like, 10 um, seconds left. Hey, Siri, yeah. how do you dismantle an atomic bomb? It's like playing on Spotify. You're like, oh, no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, Gary, you no. Too. I've got a quote um, here that's uh, worse than the actual reality. <laughs> From Bono mm-hmm. himself. How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb is an odd title for an album, reflected Bono at these awards. We accept that. Actually, I was talking about my father, Bob. He was the atomic bomb in question. I want to thank my father, Bob, for giving me the voice and a bit of attitude to use it. <laughs> so he's it sounds you, like his Bono. father, Bob, was actually just the local priest and not his actual dad. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> father, Bob. Father, father Bob, Bob, please give me the uh, ability to speak my truth. <laughs> All right, well, how about how to dismantle an atomic bomb? That'll be funny. <laughs> Cheers. Um, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, uh, choosing. <laughs> yeah, what, so what's Oh, it's late, regi- it's late registration. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway, yeah, yeah, moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dan Southern. Late registration. <laughs> yeah, that's right, correct. Good, chips. <clears throat> <That's okay. clears throat> I don't begrudge you, as you should chips. me. No. What? No, you just said I choose Paul McCartney and I hate Kanye West. Yeah, I said I didn't say that. I said there was a right answer and a wrong answer. In yeah, this and one. there's and a the sentimental right answer, answer as yeah, well. The, which the right answer is late registration. Not so, okay. Okay. again though with the uh, just talking about herself. She's like the emancipation of me, me, <laughs> you know, me, me. It's not all about you, Mariah. I'm Mariah Carey. Yeah, yeah. me, me, comma yeah. me. <laughs> Uh, okay, the best new artist nominees was John Legend. Is it Ciara? Ciara, Ciara. I've been saying. Ciara. I've been saying Kai Are. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah yeah, that's what. It is. <clears throat> Ball, Ball Out Boy, Keen, Keeney, <laughs> and Sugarland. Sugarland. Uh, I'm just saying Sugarland. Sugarland. Now, I don't know who Sugarland are. Um. Well, I, I know who Sugar Man is. is. 
and Keen and uh, Ciara ring a bell. Yeah, I can tell you some stuff about them because I actually went and listened to them. Oh, did you? Yeah. You're joking. <clears throat> You're uh, joking. So I like I, I've got a new approach with these best new artist categories. What I do, what I do now. You want, you're looking for the next Stephen Bishop. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, I'm going Bishop hunting. Yeah. Um. So uh, what I do right is like best new artists, okay, and I go to the album that they are probably in the category for because that yeah. was someone they released the year before that. Because some of these best new artists have been out for fucking ten years. Yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. Know yeah. When do you start? But. Uh, like they've been out for 10 years and then like, let's say 2005, they release an album. It's like, okay, 2006, they're in this best new artist category. So I go to that album, listen to the first song. That's what I do. Just first song. Yeah. And for Ciara, it's goodies, my goodies. Do you want my goodies? I've got some goodies for you. Would you like them? You know that song? <laughs> that no, I don't. Right, no, it's, oh, it, that's a, yeah. She's, I don't know what she's on about. I think she might have a, box of cabri uh, favorites or something <laughs> sure, um <laughs> anyway so keen he's uh yeah he's not worth mentioning just just some some pretty Isn't keen like a creed sort of vibe thing i i vaguely remember i feel like keen were like one of the guest bands on the oc or something like that they uh, they are very like standard band. It's mm-hmm. not not so much creedy as in like the the voice, like the standard creed voice. Yeah, they definitely but it's were. It's very the very like put it this way: the fact that they're in this best new artist category must mean it was a slow fucking year. It's like okay. the most basic music you've ever heard. Not what songs have they got? I'm pretty keen to find out. Ah. <laughs> um, and now here's one that really irks me: Sugarland, yeah. right? Yeah. Is a fucking country band. Oh. Okay, can I just real real quick uh, <clears throat> the whole Sugarland thing? Um, I've I've had this conversation with uh, a, a gentleman that I'm friends with, uh, Matthew Harvey, and we've we've constantly come up with the idea of how do you pronounce words like you know when some when, you know it's Spider Man, yeah, 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 Spider Spider Man, hmm. two words when you put them yeah. together, if you put Spider Man together, it's just Spider Man. Yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. 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 So Sugarland is just Sugarland. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Like, like Sutherland. I will Sutherland. stop you there though, because yeah. Spider Man has a hyphen. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's that's still two words. <laughs> like Superman. What's Superman? Superman. 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 I'll tell you what's not Superman. Is it really like Superman? Yeah. It's not Superman. a there's not a space. <laughs> Superman. Is there not a space Superman. between yeah. Superman and Man? This is very common knowledge. It's Superman. Superman 2, no Superman worry. 3. I don't even know why you're talking about Superman. You should be, if you want to talk about a superhero, talk about Batman. Batman versus Superman. Batman, yeah. Superman, Batman versus you know, Superman. Like, um, the guy that played Superman fell off a horse and broke his spine man. <laughs> you know, Donald Bradman. <laughs> yeah, it works in that context. Anyway, yeah. look, uh, Sugarland, fucking terrible. Like, the worst country that can right. be country. So they're the Ensign Ricky of the best new artists. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. It's really okay. between Fall Out Boy and John Legend, I would say. I thought it was a leg end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Who do you have yeah. winning the best new artist, like, Bevo? I feel like John Legend is everywhere at the moment. You can't turn around without seeing his face in the, in the mirror. All <laughs> of me <laughs> loves all of you. <laughs> it's like, but, it's like he, he's like the token musician on every song. movie. Like if they need like a celebrity cameo, I think it's just movie. available. Yeah. Oh, but it's. Yeah. it's hot I property. think he just does a lot of favors for people because he's a fucking legend. I... <laughs> yeah, I'll pick him. Okay, John. Uh, <laughs> he's a. You know, John. Yeah, he's a legend. Mark. He's a legend. <laughs> yeah. Is he a legend? But yeah, I just said yeah. Zav, he's a Lardner. <laughs> Please don't give away my real name on this podcast. Oh, yeah. I don't want anyone, to, anyone to find me. Fuck. There. there he goes. Yeah. There goes Daniel, his defense contract. Daniel Southern. <laughs> um, uh, in terms of like, just, I don't know. I think, you know, we always talk about like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like today. Yeah. yeah. Important, Who had a better career from 2006 today. onwards? Uh, yeah. Look, shook that. Nah, John Legend. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Fair enough. Uh, Southern. John Legend as well. I actually don't like Fallout Boy. Never have. Probably never will. Mm. That's weird. 
You mean to mm. tell me that Pete Wentz is not your favorite bass player of all time? I don't think the singer should sing like that. <laughs> That's how he sings. <laughs> I don't like it. How would you be believer? You know that yeah, thing in the movie uh, Step Brothers? I think it's like, hey, can you change your face? You don't change your face. I'm going to change it for you. I feel like saying that to that dude about his voice. Ah, right, Just okay. change your voice. Like, don't sing like that. Uh-huh. Well, I choose Fall Out Boy. He's trying his best. Oh, what the fuck, yeah. dude? Come on. They're yeah. nothing now. They're oh, completely yeah, but, uh, <clears throat> They have three albums that are fucking rad. No, nah, they don't actually. But I still any listen albums. to. They I suck. Still listen to a I have lot. to say, I've never listened to an album based I on the singles when, um, that I've heard that I don't like. Remember that? Uh, Thanks for the memories came out. Yeah, they can't even spell. <laughs> Thanks for the memories. That was a big song around this year. Yeah. Song of the summer. Uh yeah. All right. Well, I think we've figured yeah. that out. So yeah. good stuff. Bye. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs> Ba 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 ba